sensors activated. Welcome back, mercenaries, to another In The Black tutorial. This one all about the MFDs or the multifunctional displays located in your cockpit. These specialized displays highlight important information for pilots flying through the dark void of space. Like all things within the black at this time, everything you see here is still a work in progress and subject to change in the future. The MFDs are already easily seen by just being in the starting position of your spacecraft. By holding down the left alt key, however, you can move your camera angle down to get a better view. If you want to focus a little more on the elements of an MFD, you can zoom in by holding the right mouse button and moving the camera to the screen you want a closer look at. This method is a good way to quickly check information on the MFDs while being able to switch back to the default view in the case of incoming hostile forces, ordnance, or emergency maneuvering. You can also do the same thing a little bit quicker by pressing the M key on the keyboard. This will automatically swing your camera downward and it will hold it there until the M key is pressed again. Pressing the M key will return the camera to its original position. But let's get back to looking at the three screens in front of us. The first screen we'll be looking at is the central and largest MFD with the distinguished name of Primary MFD. Currently it's showing a 3D model of my Shrike, but by holding the left control key we can bring our pointer on screen and select the other tabs on top. We can switch between ship status, ordnance, and comms. The default tab that was being shown when we first got into our Shrike is the ship status tab. The ship status tab highlights the overall integrity of an object you have targeted or your own ship if the space around you is clear of targets. This is a good way to gauge how much more damage an enemy craft can sustain before being turned into space debris, as well as your own. The Ordnance tab has the rather interesting feature of allowing a pilot to see space from the point of view of a launched missile until it collides with an object or its intended target. The comms tab is meant as a way for you to request a specific flight path to travel when needing some guidance. This is meant to be an automatic pilot function similar to double tapping the space bar and performing a flip and burn and is planned to have more functionality such as matching ship speed and docking with stations in future iterations. The leftmost screen is surprisingly titled the left MFD. Currently it is showing what modules I have equipped on this Shrike. Every module has an overall health bar along with a heat bar, so a pilot knows the specifics of their vessel's integrity. Just like the hull of your ship, modules can take damage from either weapons or indirectly through heat, so keeping an eye on them is a pretty good idea. Once they go red, that means modules are no longer working and need immediate repair at a station to bring your ship back up to full strength. Propellant transferred. Integrity restored. Last but not least, the right screen, titled the right MFD, is showing what my strikes radar is picking up. By pressing the minus and plus icons, we can adjust our radar to focus or broaden what it picks up in a certain number of kilometers around the ship. And that is all there is for MFDs at the moment. There are other tabs for them here at the bottom, like the integrated weapon system, but future updates to In the Black will unveil their functions. And that is all there is for this tutorial today. If you have any suggestions for In the Black, you should check out our Discord, which is linked down below. There, you can also talk about the hard science fiction of In the Black, organize matches between yourself and other players, and even chat with members of the development team about your ideas. Our goal is to make this a player-designed game, and the more feedback we get from the community, the greater In the Black will be. Thanks for watching, mercenaries. Have a good day.